boot camps to obtain an IT certification. What are the pros or cons? So let's talk about this a little bit. So you want to get IT certified. There's boot camps. Boot camp is you go away for five days, focus on nothing except for like crash course, condense into one week or seven days or whatever so that you can get certified. What's the pros and what's the cons? Let's take a look. So, the pro, you get certified fast. IT field changing quickly. We're going from like 2012 server to 2016 server. If I want to get certified 2016 server, I can like take time and read material after work in the evenings, maybe a few months, and then take the certification exam, get certified for 2012 server. Or the pro for that would be I go away for a week, kind of take a crash course, what's, what the changes are, uh, add content to what I already know, take the certification exam, and be done with it one week. Um, the cons. If I, let's say I didn't work in IT, I was new to the IT field. Uh, I was going to say young, but you don't have to be young to be getting IT. So you're new to the IT field, you want to get certified, uh, you take off going to one of these boot camps, they're just cramming the information at you, you know, in one week. It's really hard to retain that information. They go at a fast pace. It's it's very tough. So that would be a con. Another pro uh, is dedicated time to focus. You're away. You're away from potentially family, your job. There's no distractions. You're there for one reason. Uh, you, you know the the problems that are at home, whatever those might be. You're away from that. So you're you're doing nothing but focusing on. Uh, you know, learning about IT, learning about what's on the certification, and kind of cramming for that certification exam. Uh, a con, you can, maybe you can get away for a week. Uh, it's five days, perhaps, sometimes it's seven days, sometimes it's longer, sometimes it's like 10 or 12 days. Uh, maybe it starts on a Friday, goes all through the weekend, all through the following week, and then that following Friday, in that afternoon, you're taking the certification exam. So potentially you can leave that place and be certified. So the con is, can you be away for that long? Another pro, if it's a good boot camp, because there's, there's bad ones, there's good ones. So if the organization is good, uh, they, they should have some hands-on activities. So if it's a 2012 server boot camp, for example, and you're still working 2012, you know, if, if it's a good boot camp, they will have, you know, for uh, virtual machines, probably 2016 server, they'll be Lots of new things that you probably don't have your hands on yet. So a chance to uh, try the new stuff and practice on the new stuff. Lots of hands-on activities. So the uh, problem, a con, is that they're not cheap. They're several thousand dollars just for the boot camp. And you're not including the travel, the lodging, the lost time from work. So you add all that together, you're talking thousands of dollars, depending on how far you travel. So here's some other considerations to consider. Um, cons. So a lot of times they'll have these boot camps in Orlando, Las Vegas, New York, San Antonio, somewhere that's cool. Well, that, that sounds neat, but you're there for really one reason, to get go through this condensed, fast-paced course to get certified in IT. If you're in Orlando or Las Vegas, there's a lot of distractions. It might sound good as a selling point, but... Once you're there, you'll think, you'll think to yourself, there's just too many things going on. Uh, it's noisy, distract, distractions, a lot of people coming and going. I should have probably went to boot camp somewhere that's not as exciting. And I won't mention what I think is some boring cities. Um, the second thing, it, it's not a vacation. You, you probably don't want to take your family along. So if it's in Orlando, your family finds out, says, oh my goodness, we're going to Orlando, you know. And you think to yourself, okay, so I go to this, uh, this, these courses during the day for eight hours, then get out, have dinner, and then we go out and go to Disneyland or go to the, you know, Las Vegas Strip or something. It doesn't really work that way because you're expected to after dinner to prepare for the next day. So they'll give you basically homework. So it's not just you know sitting in a classroom from eight to four, and then having dinner, and then enjoying the rest of the evening until 2 in the morning and, and doing it all over again, you're expected to do some studying, 
uh, work on hands-on labs, so it's not a vacation. Uh, the goal oftentimes is just to get uh, certified for some companies. It just their, their only goal is to get you certified. So it can be kind of questionable. Uh, some organizations frown upon people getting certified at boot camps because they feel they went there and they just took a cram course and memorizing answers to questions for certification exams. They'll, they'll question the person say, how can you go away for a week knowing very little about being a certified Cisco network associate, uh, you leave on Sunday and you come back on Friday and you've got a CCNA. Now how is that, how is that possible? Well, it, in some cases it's not possible. So some people question these things. So some other things, uh, some pearls. You, you can learn a lot in one week. So I personally have attended some, maybe not for five days, but three days. I've attempt, attended some conferences, some, some um, not really boot camps, but some trainings. And it's amazing what you can learn in one week. So if you're an experienced uh, IT person and maybe you already know a lot of the content, you just want to go to a boot camp to try to put it all together, uh, fill in some gaps, some missing things that you're that you don't know about. You know, it could be it could be a good thing. So, and and like I said, you can learn a lot in a week. So a week, you know, forty hours is about the amount of class time you would put into it, like a one semester class, sitting in a chair. Plus, you're doing evening work. So, very easily, you're putting in sixty to seventy hours worth of work. So that's about equivalent to a semester's worth of work at a college. So you're you're going a long ways. So and then the last thing, it's an opportunity to meet people in the IT field, bounce some ideas off. You might uh, be get some inspiration to do uh, to move into some different areas and just learn from other people, uh, make some lasting uh, friendships. I've gone to conferences out of state, met people and I'm still in contact with them today. Um, met some people from New Mexico who um, also teach at college and I still talk to those people so lots of good things can happen from that too so it's not just talking to people it's like talking like hey so we're doing this over here at this college what are you guys doing down at your college so a lot of collaboration so so here's my here's my personal opinion if if you're an experienced IT person you've been working for a while and you got a handle on your day-to-day -day job and for whatever reason you need or you want to become certified a boot camp may just might be the answer it gets gets you away for a week and you're focused on one thing I, I think I got the experience I got I've had some other training uh, I probably got the knowledge I, I'm not sure if I'm ready to walk in and take that certification not really sure what I should be studying you know maybe I'll go away for a week to a boot camp maybe my employer will pay for it and um, we'll just cram this all together and I can walk out certified so however uh, if you don't have much experience and you're maybe been working IT for a few months you just got out of college you really don't know what you're doing you don't have like I said the hands-on experience and you really want to be certified and you might go away for a boot camp just to get certified when you really don't understand the knowledge or the content you know that's probably I wouldn't really recommend it. I recommend uh, probably taking a course at a community college it's like where I teach uh, taking like a CCNA uh, the series of courses or the Microsoft courses or the CompTIA Network Plus or Security Plus or uh, Certified Ethical Hacker course take it over a period of time uh, eight weeks 16 weeks and let it soak in you know don't try to cram it in five days in one week you know spread it out a little bit take your time and I think you'll be a lot better off you know it gives you time between let's say if you have class every Monday night you learn some things Monday you do some labs you have the whole week to practice uh, think about things ask questions troubleshoot contact your instructor you come back the next Monday you move on to the next step so don't try to do too much in one week so boot camps yeah, not for new people in my opinion 
So finally, like always, I'm on Facebook. So look for Dana the Tech Teacher on Facebook or go to YouTube and just do a search for Dana the Tech Teacher. I have other videos up there and I plan on continuing putting videos up there uh, to help my students and people who are interested in becoming students or people who are inter interested in changing careers or people that are in IT who just like to be entertained for free. So until next time, I'll see you.